I'm Claire Stewart, the director of the BFI London Film Festival, and it's a pleasure to have you here this evening for our European, presentation, uh, European premiere presentation of Dark River. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to extend a, a very special thank you to Arrow Films, who are partners in uh, tonight's screening. I think there's uh, something that gives all of us, yeah, well, yeah, give it up for Arrow. <laughs> uh, one, one of the great pleasures of programming a festival is having the opportunity to return to directors' work and to see them develop over time. And welcoming alumni filmmakers back to the festival is really one of the most rewarding um, elements of what we do. And especially so when the uh, uh, director of this evening's film is the previous winner of the Sutherland Award, our first feature competition for her extraordinary film, The Arbor, and also uh, was previously at the festival with her film, Selfish Giant, in competition. So uh, Clio Barnard, who's one of my great uh, heroes working in British film, uh, it's really a pleasure to be presenting her film tonight. So I would like to first of all welcome out onto stage our producer Tracy O'Riordan, executive producers Lila Rawlings and Andy Harris. Um, thank you so much, Claire, for um, welcoming this film to the London Film Festival. We're delighted to be here. This is. Uh, a lot of our hometowns, so it's a really special privilege to be showing the film here. Um, just a really quick set of thank yous to Arrow and Protagonist and our finances for our Film 4, BFI, Screen Yorkshire and the Wellcome Trust. And um, I just wanted to say this film, a lot of films are labours of love, but um, this one was a particular labour of love. Lambs, sheep, dogs, <laughs> owls, rats. Um, what you'll see tonight, I hope you can see that we are we, uh, we absolutely loved being in Yorkshire as well, so I want to say thank you so much to the people of Yorkshire for welcoming Clio and I back again. On which note, I'd like to welcome director Clio Barnard to the stage. Clio, congratulations on a film that I think is truly magnificent. Um, it started out as, as kind of a source of inspiration from uh, Rose Tremaine's novel Trespass, and you've taken it into very different terrain, both geographically and emotionally. Uh, could you give us a little bit of insight into your creative process about bringing it onto the screen? Um, yeah, I was inspired by... Uh, the, the novel's about two sets of adult siblings, and I absolutely loved um, the characters in the novel who were called Aramon and Audrun and became Alice and Joe in the, in the film. Um, I loved the relationship between them, which is difficult, but they... Um, I think there's a desperation in them to connect with each other, and they're carrying um, a burden that doesn't really belong to them. Um, and uh, yeah, so really, it was it was it was those characters and wanting to explore, I suppose, the difficulty and the intensity of what they're what they're dealing with. Well, as the audience is about to discover, you've done that incredibly well. So congratulations. Um, it's now a, a, a great pleasure to welcome to the stage four of the people who bring this story to the screen in front of the camera. Will you join me in welcoming Aidan McCullough, <laughs> Esme Creed Miles, Mark Stanley, and Ruth Wilson. Would everyone like to take three steps forward into the light? <laughs> um, Mark and Ruth, I, I wanted to ask both of you, I mean, you, you've both given extraordinary performances in this film, and uh, you go into a very sort of deep emotional terrain, very affecting um, uh, in, in terms of what you've achieved. Could you tell us a little bit about how each of you came to the film and, and the sort of process of working on it? You were first, weren't you? 
I was, I was first. I met Clio um, about a different project, and then she brought this one up. And I always wanted to, meet, uh, wanted to work with Clio. She's a pure artist in my eyes. So I was like, well, okay, this is a no-brainer. But I did have to uh, become a sheep shearer, which was something that I had obviously never done in my life before, um, which took about three weeks on a farm with um, this lovely couple called Malcolm and Hazel. And they taught me to castrate lambs and uh, <laughs> shear sheep and clear shit. And, um, <laughs> and then it was a psychological side, which obviously is really traumatic. And we had a few psychologists that Clio was in touch with, who we discuss with. But then the two of us worked very hand in hand. It was very um, collaborative. And once we had Mark on board, it became a three-way thing, really, with Clio, myself, and Mark improvising and working out what this dynamic was. So it's, it started as something else and then it, led, you know, it organically changed into something. And, um, and thank God for him, he was brilliant in it, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, no. I've... No, I, I was a bit of an outsider, I think, um, sort of an outside horse coming into it. I think a lot of people were vying for Clio's approval, everyone had seen her work and a lot of people were going up for the part. Um, luckily for me, I, I did what she hopefully expected. Um, and once you get on there, uh, you know, you're dealing with sort of a wealth of talent of, you know, Ruth will always pull out the best that's in you, hopefully. Um, I'll challenge it or t tell you it's not the best. Just in really you. smack <laughs> you in the face, which is what we did in these days. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, it was, you can't, a part like that comes along and you're dealing with the people that you're dealing with and you just try and do the best that you can. Well, thank you all so much for being here this evening. A huge congratulations to the team from Dark River. Thank you. Thank you.